Hey everybody, I got some really interesting things for you today on camshafts. And so since I was, uh, I was actually wearing my HPP uh, hoodie today, so that's Manny Alvarez down at HPP Racing. So Manny has a no prep Kings car and he's making it into the big show and has his car is working really well and it is really fast right now. So uh, they bought the car. Let me give you the backstory a little bit. They bought the car. It had a, a different 481X engine in the car, and it was a runner, and the thing was fast. In fact, it was it's pretty it's pretty fast. And but uh, Manny uses us for engines, so I was already building him another engine for the car. And then we were going to take that engine back, which happens to be sitting right here. These are the heads for it. This is the block for it. Uh, to take this back and convert it to all our stuff. So before we had gotten to that, we were building the other engine, and which is in the car now. And uh, I'm just I'm getting along to the story here. So, but Manny calls us up, says, "Hey, you need to get that other motor done for us because man, this engine that is in the car it's fast, but this thing breaks valve train all the time. It says it's always got something going on. I can't make it two or three passes without it breaking something. This is ridiculous." I said, "Hmm, that's weird." So I said, "Well, I'm almost done with this thing." So. We send them our solid 481X, so we get the regular 481X package, but we do it with all of our stuff. All of our valve train, spring retainer keeper combo, and our camshaft. And that's what I'm getting to is the camshaft profile here. Um, so <clears throat> we get the motor done. He puts a, our motor in the car, replacing the current engine that was there. And he goes, dang, this thing's, this thing's even a little bit faster yet. Awesome has never had a problem with valve train yet. Nothing. He goes, I can't believe how much, this is just like every motor I've ever gotten from you. It's rock solid. We don't have problems with it. We check the valve lash every once in a while and that's it. We just go racing. So it's sweet, awesome. Well, send me your engine that's in the car or that was out of the car so I can go through it and we'll convert it over to it, to our stuff. So we'll put our camshaft and everything in it. Well, so we tear it apart and this is the camshaft for it. We tear it apart. And I go, huh, well, let's just see what kind of camshaft it's got in it. Because holy crap, does it have a lot of valve spring on it? Way more valve spring than I ever run in these combinations. But I said, let's check the valve or the, the camshaft out and then we'll figure this out. So we run it across the cam doctor and this camshaft comes up within one degree, within one degree of my stuff at 50. On the intake, on the exhaust, same lift, same lobe separation. This thing looks like it's almost identical. I said, man, that's crazy. Why is this thing breaking valve train parts? I said, it's got like 150 pounds more valve spring pressure on it than, than what I normally run. In fact, about 200 pounds on the open side, more than what my stuff needs. I said, well, screw it. We'll send it over to, to my cam grinders because they have some more fancy equipment over there that actually really measure stuff up. Uh, way better than a cam doctor does. So I send it over to my cam grinders. They run it across their machine and he calls me back up and he says, holy cow, dude. He says, uh, this thing break intake rockers? I said, yeah. He goes, I've never seen an intake lobe like this ever in my life. He goes, I have run it across the machine five different times trying to come up with different numbers. And every time this thing comes up with crazy deceleration rates on the intake lobe. He says, there is no possible way. He goes, I can't even figure the math out of how much valve spring it would take to close this and keep the valve from bouncing and keep it from having problems. I said, really? I said, but the 50 numbers are almost identical within the one degree. Lift is identical. Lobe separation is identical. All that stuff. And he goes, yeah. But he says, the, the acceleration, deceleration ramp on this intake lobe is insane. There is no way this is not going to break parts. I go, well, that's exactly what it was doing. So here you can see we've put our grind on the camshaft. So our profile, so regrind the camshaft to our low profile. And then we put our valve train package in it. So here you see the, uh, we go with a significantly lighter spring. So our spring is only going to have in the neighborhood of 380 pounds on the seat and uh, nine, well, no, uh, 975 to 1,000 open, I believe. And we use uh, trick tight, or I'm sorry, we use a 
a victory titanium retainer keeper combo which has a trash can um, trash can style keeper so it gives more surface area out there it just makes a much much better piece and this is proven stuff drag week proven stuff so drag and drive big horsepower like in bailey's car like in my car like in manny's stuff uh all the stuff that's always been out there eric bain's stuff so <clears throat> this has always been a just a tried and true proven stuff and <clears throat> we just converted this all over the motor that's in the car is really cool this motor is going to be the, the backup motor for it. And then actually we're going to be probably taking both of these engines in on trade from Manny to build them uh, some SMX engines because we're going to have them running our regular SMX stuff because it's going to be better yet. So anyways, uh, that's really good information. So always remember this. This is something key. Uh, go look at the link below uh, or the link if it's popping up at the end of the video of my camshaft videos because I do do more explanation of how the camshaft profiles work. Basically, I break it down into real simple stuff because I'm a simple guy and I think simply. The, I break it down real simple for you, but go watch it because what you're going to find out is that numbers uh, don't tell the whole story. That at 50, that dirt, that, um, and, and this even had the same, just before you guys even make the comment, because it's probably already too late. You guys probably made comments on it already. The advertised duration was within one degree. The at 50 was in one degree. <clears throat> Somewhere in the mix in there, the deceleration was so fast before the at 50 number that it was just it was off the charts. He said it was absolutely off the charts. It was uh, our normal acceleration ramp was, uh, is like in the 180s, and this thing was almost 400. So. Uh, he actually knows more about that than I do, but um, that's just to give you an illustration. It was more than double the, the acceleration um, uh, at the at the valve than what my stuff was. So anyways, uh, just remember that uh, just because you see something that looks really close. Oh, look, uh, this is really close to this one. It must be the same. Probably not. And every once in a while, you might get something that is so significantly different, especially in great big horsepower stuff. Somebody's got a crazy idea or somebody's doing something. Um, that might not necessarily work. All right, so uh, click a link, make sure you like, subscribe, share the videos as much as possible. I appreciate it, everybody. Have a great day.